we know that you are in many ways the face of the healthcare system. And it's not an insurance bureaucrat, it's not a CEO, it's not a lobbyist, it's you. When people say and talk about health care, when they come to town hall meetings, yours are the face that they're talking about. Now we just had a debate in this country that went on about 16 months. I just gave birth to a 2,191 page health care bill. Thank you very much. Both the baby and its authors are doing very well. Thank you very much. But in that entire debate, if you weren't really paying attention and you weren't careful, you would have come to the belief that this institution behind us, the United States Congress, is a wholly owned subsidiary of the health insurance industry. Yes. That is why it is so important that you're here after the bill to say that we might have taken some steps, we might have built a foundation, but if we are truly going to improve health care in this country, it is going to be on the shoulders of the same people it always has been on, and that is the nurses of this country. And I want to say And what you're here asking for is a perfectly reasonable thing. That we have certain limits to the number of people that each and every nurse has to chase around caring for each and every day. Give the nurse the opportunity to sit with that patient, to listen to them, to help them get better. And I'm going to tell you something. Not only is it a way to improve health care, it's a way to save money. Yeah. With all of the talk about tort reform and lawsuits, Let's talk a little bit about the number of medical errors that get made because people are frayed at the edges. People are working too many hours. People aren't getting paid enough. People don't have enough support. People don't have the equipment that they need. If we all were to gather as a group and sit around a big table over the course of two or three days, we'd probably be able to come up with ways that healthcare would improve, costs would go down, and the American people would say they trust us again. That's what we need to do. And by the way, on the subject of trust, you know, every once in a while there's this poll that come out, what are the professions that are most revered and most cared for? Congress says, don't do the punchline. Let me do a solo for this part. Congressmen are not exactly at the top of the list. However, nurses are and they should be. We honor you because you honor us with the hard work you do each and every day, and I want to say thank you for that. Now you can clap.